Stage step. Successful landing. Fairing step. Payload released. Hello everybody, Brickmaster5000 here, and I have with me a rocket. I call it the reusable rocket that I made based off the Falcon 9. And it's red, not like the Falcon 9, which is light blue. The Y is kind of obvious. If you don't get the reference with the Y, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> so we all know how this works. The, the first stage comes off, comes back to Earth. Uh, this stage goes into orbit. There's something inside the fairing, but it's not what you saw at the beginning of the video. Here's what you saw at the beginning of the video, a little satellite I made, but it's not that. It's something else. I'm gonna set this aside over here. And the core stage, or just the landing booster, has the grid fins. They don't rotate properly, but I mean, it's just for looks. There's what it looks like, like this. The landing legs retract for a soft landing. As you already saw in the beginning of the video, Space Y really isn't used to landing rockets. See? Uh, perfect. Perfect landing right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You can see the name right there. Hawk 10. The Space Agency took Eagle 8, so... I was like, I can't just copy Space Agency. Andy's gonna get mad, so... Uh, wait, is his name Andy or Andrew? Because in the game's uh, information thing with the designers and stuff it says andrew but on space agency wiki it says and andy oh my god which is his real name does he have two names i don't know but okay we've landed this successfully now let's get to the fairing just this shoots away like an escape tower and behold the fairing one fairing already broke away. The second... Mission failed! That was not supposed to happen. Alright, let's just... <laughs> try that again. Fairing deployed, and there is the Tesla Roadster. Now, I know what you're gonna say. The Tesla Roadster was launched by the Falcon Heavy. But... It's... I, I, I just... I have four of these little cars. I mean, I gotta use it for something. There's Starman right there. It's a little... Uh, what do you call that piece? The piece like a stud with the tiny little bar on top. It, it, it's that piece to hold it in because without it, Starman would just fall off. I used, uh, what is it, acetone? To wipe the 40 out of the front. This is with Sharpie. I like how this came out. It's... Okay, wait, no, that's Space Oddity. No, I meant the other one. Honestly, Space... Uh, Life on Mars should be the National Anthem of Mars. I mean, it's right there. You got a Mars National Anthem right there. But you can also take this piece off and, as you saw earlier in the video, add the satellite or space station module. I originally made this to go with my International Space Station, but yeah, it, it's because the bar is like too shoved in there, so, you know. It. Okay, uh, let me clean all this up. Alright, this rocket has already landed. Time to use it again. So, take the second stage and place it on the first stage like this and stand it up. Make sure it balances. So, that's what it looks like standing up. It's a pretty tall rocket, like about a foot. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. We're so close to 400 subscribers, so just two more. Please subscribe. I might do uh, a special for 400 subscribers. I don't know yet, but please hit that subscribe button if you're new. And uh, enable those notifications if YouTube lets, lets you. I don't know. Uh, I already discussed this in my, uh, what was it, Sonic Adventure video? Or Voyager video, I forgot. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Brickmaster5000 out.